As its name suggests, the sort method of an array sorts the array. So why do we need a to sorted method? To sorted is new in ECMA script 2023, which is the standard for JavaScript. We can use these array methods in JavaScript, TypeScript, and with any JavaScript framework or library such as Angular, React, or Vue. Let's try out sort and to sorted. We'll use sort first. I'll paste in code to define a simple array of numbers and log the numbers to the console. To sort this array, we'll use the sort method. We call numbers.sort and use console.log to display the result. The sort method of an array sorts the elements of the array in place and returns the same array, but in sorted order. The default sort is ascending, and it sorts by converting the elements into strings, then comparing their Unicode values. It doesn't look right. Notice that it's sorted by the string value of the numbers, not their numeric values. So, 6 is after 42. We can provide a comparator function to the sort method to define our own sort criteria. For example, if we want to sort the array of numbers by their numeric value, we could provide a comparator function like this. Looking at the console that looks better. However, there are some issues with using the sort method. Sort is mutable. It's actually changing the original array. So, if you have a setter or change detection or a state management library that's watching for changes to the numbers of variable, it may not recognize the value as changed. So, how do we sort an array in an immutable way? That's where to sorted comes in. To sorted is similar to sort, but it creates a new array and returns that new array with the sorted elements. Let's give it a try. I'll start by commenting out the call to sort. Then call numbers.toSorted and display the result to the console. Before we move on, recall from the beginning of this video, I mentioned that toSorted is new in ECMA script 2023. Depending on which version of JavaScript you are using, you may get a property toSorted does not exist on type number. Let's run and look at the console. Oh. We sorted the array, but it doesn't look any different. Any idea why? The toSorted method does not change the original array, but rather creates and returns a new array. So, we need to assign that new array to a variable. Let's try that again. I'll define a new variable to hold the sorted array. Let the numbers equal numbers dot to sorted. We already log the original array. Let's log the new sorted array as well. In the console, we see that the original array is still unchanged. The return new array is sorted similar to the prior sort method example. To sort the numbers numerically, we can again use a comparator function. I'll use the same one we used here. In the console, we see that the original array is still unchanged. And the return new array is sorted numerically. So, the key difference between sort and to sorted is mutable vs immutable. Sort sorts the array in place, mutating the original array. And to sorted creates a new sorted array from the original array, treating the original array as immutable. It's a great choice when working in applications that support immutable patterns such as state management libraries and functional programming techniques. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful, please like and subscribe.